Welcome to my channel, Basil Chic. I'm Stephanie. In this video, we're gonna be deep cleaning for fall. Specifically, we're gonna be deep cleaning my kitchen. This video is also in collaboration with my really good friend here on YouTube, Karina. Her channel is called The Happy Girl's Home, and she does a ton of cleaning motivation, home decor, organization. I know you guys are gonna love her. She's super sweet, a mom of two, wonderful style. I mean, like, nice style and like she loves her neutrals and let me tell you she has a great sounding voice and that is super important if you do youtube you know what i mean so go check out and see what room she chose to deep clean this fall after you're done watching this one i'm gonna link both her channel and her video below in my description box i'm actually filming this intro the next day because um yesterday was the day i deep cleaned my whole kitchen but by the time i was done i had to cook dinner <laughs> so i didn't have enough time to film this intro so i'm doing it now I really hope this video gives you guys some great motivation and inspiration. So let's get into the cleaning. The very first thing I'm gonna do is get my diffuser going and clean the air. I'm using this Nature Shield. It's organic and it smells a lot like Thieves. I got that in the diffuser from Amazon. So now I'm cleaning the air and it smells really good and it smells like fall. As if the essential oils wasn't enough, I have to add more. I'm gonna turn on my Scentsy and put in this Apple Pumpkin Jellables from Homeworks. It smells so good. Next up is the dishwasher. We always run our dishwasher the night before and there's a reason why I'm starting with this. So once I unload it all, now I'm gonna clean, deep clean the inside of the actual dishwasher by using a bowl of vinegar and some essential oils. I'm using bergamot and peppermint and I'm gonna put the bowl on the top rack of the dishwasher and then wash the dishwasher like normal and this will clean the inside pretty good. My all-time favorite cleaner is this Thieves Concentrate Spray, and I go through about a bottle a week. So I'm going ahead and using two capfuls with some water, making some up right here, giving it a good shake, and I'm ready to go. Now we're gonna start from the top of my kitchen and work our way down, starting with the top of the fridge. So I removed the dried hydrangeas, gave it a good dust with my Swiffer, got my long Swiffer out, made sure I got back there, and then I went ahead and I dusted above the dish or <laughs> above the refrigerator while I was at it. It, took my Miss Myers apple cider spray, gave it a good clean. Now it's all clean and shiny. I did my regular kitchen cleaning yesterday, and this is typically a part of that, but what isn't is this water spout. That's what I'm deep cleaning. There's stuff that gets in there, so I'm using a Q-tip to get it out. Next up is the tray that holds the water. You can see it got kind of gross, so I'm gonna load that in the dishwasher and give this a good wipe down. Moving on to deep clean the microwave, I'm first gonna take everything out. We're gonna load that tray in the dishwasher later, and then I'm gonna take a bunch of wet paper towels, put it in the microwave, set the timer for two minutes, and let it steam. A few minutes after after it's done, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna spray this apple cider vinegar, or I was gonna say vinegar, spray in there. Now you don't have to spray anything in there, but I'm deep cleaning, so that's why I am. But I'm gonna take the same paper towels and everything is just gonna come off easy. That's what the steam does. It makes everything slip off. My mom taught me this trick. She's been doing it my whole entire life. Uh, and don't forget the inside of your microwave door either. Sometimes we forget that. So now my microwave is fully deep cleaned. Reaching down, I'm gonna take out that filter from the vent. That's gonna to need to be cleaned, it's not too bad, but I'm gonna give that a really good scrub, let that set, and eventually we'll load that in the dishwasher. Now with all that out of the way, we're gonna move on to my upper cabinets, giving it a good dusting with my Swiffer, starting with the top molding, then moving on to the front of the cabinets. After that, I'm gonna be using my Miss Myers apple cider spray again. I'm gonna, and I'm doing that because I find that the uppers get a lot dirtier than the lowers, so I wanna give them a good scrub down getting off all that grease and grime. Next I'm going to then use my pledge especially concentrating where the handles and hands go where we touch our cabinets. This not only prevents from future fingerprints and grime from building up but it also makes cleaning it the next time a lot easier. I have yet to find an all-natural pledge equivalent. I just haven't yet. I just love pledge. I know that was a lot of steps, but remember we're deep cleaning here. So moving down to my backsplash, I'm trying to show you all the grease that really does build up because the camera always doesn't pick it up. But the first thing I'm gonna do is remove my fresh sign. And I wanna show you guys how I adhered that to my backsplash with these command strips. I just cut them down to size. So remember you can cut them. The next thing I did was take everything off my countertops. Then I used my Method Daily Granite Spray to clean my backs my marble backsplash. This stuff is great for marble and granite. I 
absolutely love it. Even love the way it smells. I'm using it with a microfiber cloth I got from Grove Collaborative and it it really does polish and clean super well. No streaks. I love it. Remember to also clean your light switch plates. That is equally as important than the backsplash itself. The dishwasher is done. So I'm going to put on my gloves from Grove Collaborative, which I love. This is not a walking advertisement. I'm going to take out my bowl of water now. It's no longer vinegar. And the dishwasher is so clean, I had no need to wipe the inside. I do do that periodically, so maybe that's why. Now we're going to load back the dishwasher, all of the stuff I told you about, and get that going again. Now we're going to deep clean the sink. This is my all-time favorite dish soap, and their hand soap is the best. There's nothing better than bleach when it comes to cleaning your sink, let me tell you. I gave it a really good spray with that, then I scrubbed down with the soap. I tend, or the soap really does help mellow down the, the smell from the bleach, but after I scrub it down, I'm going to let it set for a few minutes, and then I'm going to rinse it clean. With that done, I'm going to now deep clean the garbage disposal, and I do that with this baking soda. I pour a bunch of it down the sink drain and make sure it all gets in there. Then I'm going to take some essential oils. I'm using Baramont and I'm going to just drip that in there really good and then take my vinegar, pour a bunch in there and let that sit for a couple minutes and that will just eat up all the grime. Then you take a bunch of ice cubes and you're going to shove your ice cubes in there and that's going to help sharpen the disposal. So I'm going to run the disposal and then give it a really good rinse and your now your sink and your garbage disposal is clean and smells good next up is the lowers you can tell i'm really starting from the top and working my way down now since these lowers aren't as dirty as my uppers i'm just using my pledge with the microfiber cloth it's doing a great job cleaning what is there and like i said it also helps prevent future grime from sticking to it it makes cleaning in the future easier on my kitchen island i have this leftover grime from a tea towel rod that I had adhered with a command hook that's no longer there. So I'm using my Google on to get that off and you can tell it's coming right off and then I'm going to be using my pledge and giving the whole thing a really good wipe down including those light switches and I think you can tell the before and after on this one it's pretty obvious. Moving on to some of the smaller things, I'm giving my fresh sign a really good scrub down with the Mr. Clean sponge and some spray. It came out really good. All the grease came right off. Then I'm going to wipe down my blue and white base for my, with my dried hydrangeas and put that back up on the fridge. Of course, you have to arrange it, make sure it looks good. Those hydrangeas are from my grandparents' garden, actually, so they're very special. Okay, now the trash can. This is the least favorite part, but a necessity when you're deep cleaning your kitchen. I am scrubbing that garbage can inside and out. And boy, what a difference it made. I used Clorox wipes for the inside and it came out really nicely. Now I'm going to do the inside of the door. You can see that grime underneath there and I give that a really good scrub that came out really nicely. Then I'm going to vacuum up all the crud that falls down underneath that. I think a lot of people forget this area, but look at that after. Oh, I love it. So now my clean garbage can in my clean cabinet felt so good to get that done. Lastly, we're going to unload the dishwasher for the final time. You can see that this filter for the vent is now nice and clean. So I'm going to put that back where it belongs and the, as, along with the microwave plate. That's all nice and clean. So we're going to put that back inside of our microwave. So that's done. And now the final thing is the tray for the refrigerator. So you can tell that there's a big difference here. So we're going to go ahead and put that back. And that's the final thing. Now all the things are back in its rightful place. And my kitchen is now full fully cleaned. Yesterday I was able to do my weekly kitchen cleaning routine. Today was a deep cleaning and I'm glad it's done for this upcoming fall and holiday season, especially when guests are coming over or on those really cold days where maybe we can't open the windows. It's going to be nice knowing that inside is nice and clean and there's going to be no grime or dirt or anything, you know, so this makes me so happy. Anyways, okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe. I would love to have you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to click the little bell button because that means that every time I post a new video, you guys will get a notification of when that happens so you never miss a video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out Karina's video next. Remember, that's below in the description box and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye guys!